Hi guys, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create beautiful shorts like this in the style of Ali. This is one of my favorite books about relationships. It's called How to Not Die Alone by Logan Yuri. And I've actually recommended it to a few people in real life, but it's always a bit of a weird thing to recommend. It's like, hey, you know, you got a book recommendation? Yeah, you should totally read How to Not Die Alone. Like, you know, obviously. But it's... You will find all the assets and project files in the community. Along with that, you'll also get access to weekly doubt solving sessions and editing challenges. Let's get started. If you watch his rinse, you can see that it has two to three short animations which mainly consist of motion effects and paper transitions. I'll be revealing the website where you can turn any effect into a paper crumble in just one click. So make sure to watch the video till the end. For our reference, I have added a clip of Ali's audio to a timeline. So we'll be building our animation on top of this. Let's start by dragging the background to a timeline. I'll keep it over here and drag it till the end. I'll just drop the clip over here and again drag it to a timeline. Rotate it like this and expand it. Perfect. Now scroll down in blend, click over here and we are going to multiply. We can keep it around 60. As you can see, we have got a beautiful texture like this. Now let's click on both the clips and press Alt and G to create a compound clip. Awesome. Now let's start the first effect. For the first effect, we are going to add 9 books over here. We'll do this one by one. I'm going to add this one first. Let's reduce the size. Add another one on top of it and then one more. The order doesn't really matter that much. Reduce the size and again reduce the size of this one as well. Let's place this on top of each other. Let's place them properly. Okay, this looks good. Click on this one. Let's reduce the size. Okay, perfect. Let's select all three of them. One, two, three. Pressing control. Right click on it and we need to create it into a compound clip. Let's place it on the side for now. Now let's add the next three books. I'm going to take these three. One, two and three. Let's select all three of them. And selecting from the side, you can reduce the size like this. Perfect. Now click on one book. Let's place it down here. I will click on this one and let's place it above. Let's click on our compound clip for now and press the letter V. That will disable the clip. Let's see. I'm just going to shift it little up. Okay, this is looking good. Now again select all three of them and press Alt G to create it into a compound clip. Now finally, let's do it one last time and add the remaining three books. Let's add our main book, How Not to Die Alone. Then we have this one and then Psychology of Money. Again, let's select all three of them and reduce the size. Perfect. Let's select Psychology of Money. Drag it up. Select the other one and drag it down. Let's reduce this gap by a bit. Perfect. Now we'll just again select all three of them and press Alt G. Awesome. Now click on the other two layers. Press V and again press V. Okay. We'll do it one by one. First, select the first one and take it over here. Select the next one and take it on the right. Perfect. Now clicking on the middle one, let's expand it from the sides. Perfect. Now click on this one and again expand it like this. Click on the first one and expand it like this. We'll keep it over here. Perfect. Now let's go to a start and we'll do our animations. We'll start from the left side in transform, add a keyframe. At this point, it should be completely out of the screen over here. We want this effect to last around 1.5 seconds somewhere over here. So at this point, let's bring it up and keep it like this. In fact, we'll do one thing. You can keep it like this. Next, click on the second one. We'll need to do the same thing for it. Go to the start, add a keyframe and transform and bring it down. At this point, at 1.5 seconds, again, bring it up and we can keep it somewhere over here. Perfect. And finally, our main clip. Go to the start. We want it to come from the top. So add a keyframe over here. Let's see where we added it over here, right? So at this point, it should be over here. Add a keyframe. You see this button? With this button, we can go to a last keyframe. Click on it and drag this all the way up. Let's play this. This is one of my favorite books about relation. Perfect. But as you can see right now, it is happening in a linear way. In order to avoid that and give it an easy, easy effect, click on this, right click, and let's click on keyframe animation. You can also use the shortcut Alt plus K. Scroll up. We have made change in Y axis. So click on it. Click over here on this keyframe. If you click on this, your graph editor will open up. Click over here. And we are going to use the graph called as Quad Out. This is one of my favorite books about it. As you can see, we have got a smooth curve over here. To close it, again, you can press Alt plus K. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other two clips. Alt K, go to Y axis. Click on this. Go to the graph editor. Or over here, it is called as Preset Curves. And click on Quad Out. This is one of my favorite books about it. Let me just move this for a while. I'm going to repeat the process one last time. Y axis. Click, click, click. 
awesome. Immediately you can see the difference for yourself. Let's close it. Again, I'm going to press Alt plus K. When it comes at this point, we want a hand to come in from the side and take it to another screen. So we'll do one thing. At this point, at around 1.5 seconds, once the animation stops, I want all these other books to vanish. Let's do that. We start with the middle one. Click over here. Go to 1.5 seconds. Add a keyframe in blend. Go to 2 seconds. And make the opacity at 0. I'm going to quickly speed run through the entire process. I don't want to waste your time. Perfect. As you can see, it will vanish. We'll repeat the same process for the others. In fact, we can do something else as well. Let's reduce the size. We'll keep it here till 2 seconds. Then go to animation. In out animation, we can give it a fade out. This one. Let's repeat the same process for the last one. Click over here and click on fade out. Perfect. But in fact, we don't want everything to fade out. We want our book to be there. So we'll do one thing. Let's again trim it till 2 seconds. Let's go up and add our book again to a timeline. Let's keep the size exactly like this so that it will look as if the others have faded out but our book is still there. I hope this is clear. Let's see this. Perfect. Now at this point, I want to reduce the size of the book. So we'll do one thing. Click on the clip. Click on transform. Let's go ahead. Press shift and the right key. That will take it ahead by 10 frames. Add a click over here. Add a keyframe in transform again. And let's reduce the size to this much. At this point, we also want the hand to come in. Click over here. Reduce the size. Okay. We'll do it one by one. Don't worry. Okay. At this point, it will come in. So, click over here. Click on the hand. Add a keyframe in transform. Go ahead. Again, add a keyframe. This is the position where we want it to be. Okay. Over here, like this. Now, go back. At this point, let's take an outside. Okay. Okay. So, it should look as if it is coming over here. It's scroll down. Okay. It is already on layer 2. We need to pick it up. And take it outside along with the hand. So we'll do one thing. We'll need to, we have to create a compound clip. Uh, now when the hand comes into the picture, at that time, now we, we have to create a motion as if it is taking the book along with the theme to a next scene. So we'll create it in that way. Okay. So over here, it reaches the book. Perfect. Now select both the clips. Right click and create a compound clip. Add a keyframe and transform. At this position, let's take it outside the screen. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, it comes, it takes the book along with it. Okay, I think it's happening too fast. We'll keep it over here. No, in fact, it's fine. It takes the book along with it. Okay, perfect. At the same time, let's add a cut over here. This will start from here at around 4 seconds. Again, it comes in the middle. So, it will give a feeling as if... See, so it goes from here, takes the book and brings it here. Perfect. There will be somewhere before 4 seconds. At that time... Again, double click on this, go to the start, add a keyframe, go ahead and again take the hand outside the picture like this. Perfect. Let's do one thing. Go over here. Let's reduce the duration. So it looks as if the hand is going out very fast. Perfect. But right now, as you can see, everything is happening in a very linear motion. Okay. So we'll do one thing. We'll give a rotating effect to the book. Just double click over here. Okay, it puts up the book here. Click on transform. Let's rotate the book by a bit. Okay, so it looks as if, see, it puts up the book. Perfect. See, when it goes out, at that time, I want the book to be straight. So, again, double click on this. Okay, it's going out over here, right? Click on the book. Add a keyframe over here. Again, at this point, let's make this straight. So, I'll just make it 0 degrees. Perfect. Let's go back. Let's see this. Perfect. Now let's add a text behind the book. Go to text layer and drag the default text to a timeline. You have to write how to not die alone like this. We'll do it one by one. In the first one, we have to write how to. Let's make this uppercase and change the font to Poppins. I'm just going to search for Poppins. We're going to use Poppins Black. Increase the size. Perfect. Take a copy of this and drag it up. It can go somewhere over here. In fact, let's increase the size. In this, let's write the word how to not buy. Again, let's increase the size. Okay. Again, let's take a copy of this. Drag this down. Write the word alone. Increase the size and keep it like this. Perfect. I feel when we are bringing this inside, right? Let's increase the size as well. Maybe somewhere like this. Just thinking. 
yes this is looking better right because the book was earlier looking too small now let's give an animation to a text click first let's click on how to go to animation mm, i think we can use typewriter for all or else we can use type one yes let's just type one for all type one let's keep a gap little bit and again a gap little bit click on this go to animation let's give it type one and again for this go to animation let's give it type one you can select all three of them, right click and create into a compound clip. Go to video, scroll down and keep it on layer 1. Perfect. Let's see this. This type 1 is not looking really nice. Let's click on this. Let's simply give it a fade in. Fade in. Go to animation. Fade in. And I think for a top one, scroll up. Fade in. Let's see this. This is looking much better, right? Right now the book feels too static. So let's give it a floating effect. Go to effects. I'm going to search for play pendulum. Or even you can search for just click. It will come. Play pendulum. Drag and drop it on the book. You can decrease the size, sharpen, speed. Okay. Let's see this. See. Right now you can see the book is floating. Awesome. Now let's do the next step. Let's hear what he's saying. It's called How to Not Die Alone by Logan Yuri. By Logan Yuri. Right. And then he says, and I have actually at that time, we want this text to fade out. And also the size of the book to increase and come on the sides over here. For that, we can also bring the hand inside and so that we can drag it below over here along with the hand. I hope this is somewhat clear. Let's do this one by one. Let's double click over here. Go to the end. Animation. Out animation. Let's give it fade out. Let's repeat the process quickly for the others. Out animation fade out. Again for the first one in the animation. Out animation and fade out. Let's go back. So, see. Okay. When it is fading out, we want some paper animation to pop in. As promised, here is a website that can enable you to do this in just one click. It is called as Paper Animator. This is the one. Just click on this. Launch the app. Let's choose a photo. I am going to use this sunflower. Over here, in case your image has a background, if you just click on this, it automatically removes the background in seconds. And then let's click on Use Image. As you want the green background, Let's click on the first one, which is toggle green screen on. It is telling us to quickly log in. I'm just going to quickly sign in in Google. Click on this to toggle the green screen on. And finally, we have to toggle the paper unfold effect. See, this is how easy it is. Over here, you can play around with the settings, but I'm happy with the default ones. Let's click on export and export it as MP4 video. Perfect. We have got all flower. By the way, guys, if you're loving the video till this point, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It is completely free for you, but it really helps me a lot. Let's get back to the video. In the media, I imported it to CapCut. Click over here and drag it to a timeline. Now go to remove EG, click on chroma key and just click over here once. As you can see, we have got a beautiful paper flower effect. Perfect. Let's decrease the size. We can keep it over here. Perfect. But we don't want the book to vanish. So we'll do something. Let's again add the book over here. So that we keep it simple. Let's go back. And place the book exactly on top of our old book. Okay. Like this. The flower should be on top. So go back to basic. Scroll down. And keep it on layer 4. At this point. I want the hand to come in. And then drag this book below. We will do one thing. In fact. I am going to take a copy of this. And drag it up. This copy can go on the bottom. Somewhere over here. Perfect. So let's work on the book. Again let's drag the hand to a timeline. In fact. I am just going to scroll down and keep it on top of our book so that everything is in one place okay at this point the head should come in right so we'll do one thing let's place it over here go to the start add a keyframe go ahead when the flower is opening up at that time the hand should come in add a keyframe earlier it should be out or you can even rotate it a bit and keep it like this so instead of it coming from here maybe it comes from over here let's see yes Perfect. Let's decrease the duration so that it comes in very fast. Perfect. Let's again select both of them. Right click on this and create a compound clip. We have to increase the size and bring it towards the bottom. We have to add a quote above. So that there should be enough space on the top. So we'll do one thing. Okay, this is good enough over here. Add a keyframe. At around 9 seconds, it should be down over here. Increase the size and I want to rotate it. No, not like this. Over here like this. Okay. When we are rotating it, at that time, I don't want the hand to be over here on the top. 
So we'll do one thing. Let's double click over here. Go on the hand. Somewhere over here. Again add a keyframe in transform. And rotate the hand. Keep it over here like this. Let's see this. Perfect. In fact we'll do one thing. At this point. We can rotate it like this. Keep it over here. So that we don't waste a lot of space. That is what I want. But it's always a bit of a weird thing to recommend. It's like hey. You, know, you got a book recommendation. Yeah. You when he says, yeah, you should definitely read this book. At that time, we want to add the text over here. Now, let's add a text over here. I want to add the quotations. Let's select the font as, let's choose the font as bold only, empty bold. Increase the size. Click over here. Change the color to yellow. Perfect. Now, let's write the text. Again, drag the default text or timeline. Then start at around 9 seconds. Let me hear the audio. It's like, hey, you, know, you got a good recommendation. Yeah, you should totally read. Okay, it should be somewhere around here yeah you should totally read this book let's click on this drag it out what is the text yeah you should totally read how to not die alone let's change the font let's give it a comic font like comic sense something like this or let's see what else we have in comic we have italics comic sense this one is super nice we can use the font bounce let's go to animation and you can use the animation type one Let's keep it to around maybe 1.5 seconds. Yeah, you should totally read how to not. Yeah, this looks nice. <laughs> now let's do one thing. Take a copy of this. Drag it up. It should come over here. And let's flip it. In fact, let's do one thing. Firstly, before flipping it, we need to create it into a compound clip. And now let's flip it. Let's flip it like this. Perfect. Let's zoom in again. It should come at this point. Yeah, you should totally read how to not die alone. Like Okay, somewhere here. Perfect. And lastly, we need to take everything out of the screen. You can easily do that by creating an fade out animation. Let's keep everything till this point. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Click on this book. Go to animation. In out animation, let's give it a slide out. Like slide down. But it's perfect. In fact, we can do the same for the others. Let's click. Let's select all three of them. Right click, create a compound clip. Then go to animation, out animation. And slide down. And totally read how to not die alone. Like, you know, obviously. But it's perfect. In fact, I feel at this point, right, this is looking too static. So we'll do one thing. Let's just scroll down. On top of this, let's go to effect. And as always, let's add a play pendulum. Okay. Let's decrease this. Let's decrease the speed. I don't want it from the starting. So maybe around this point. You got a book recommendation. Yeah, you should totally read how to not die the sharpness can be here yeah. we can increase the sharpness you can start somewhere here and i've actually recommended it to a few people in real life but it's always a bit of a weird thing to recommend it's like hey you, know, you got a book recommendation yeah you should totally read how to not die alone like you know obviously but it's perfect let's see the final result together this is one of my favorite books about relationships it's called how to not die alone by logan yuri and i've actually recommended it to a few people in real life but it's always a bit of a weird thing to recommend it's like hey you, know, you got a book recommendation yeah you should totally read how to not die alone like you know obviously but it's perfect thank you guys for watching the tutorial if you want to learn how to edit like ali i already covered it in some of my past tutorials make sure to check out this video